Alex is going to ask me some questions. His first question is, who am I? My name's Paul Roebuck. I'm a psychotherapist, which means I do for the mind what Alex does for the body. Tell people the benefits of being fit, being active, uh, training. Okay. Um, let's look at the, the chemical processes within the body and particularly within the brain. If you reflect for a moment, you will realise you're just a bunch of cells that are at the command of your brain and your mind. And your mind, that thing in your head, controls everything about you. And what goes on in there, inside the brain, is a whole load of chemical reactions. And there are two key chemical reactions that we as humans tend to want to foster. The first is a feel good. We want to feel good. We generally want to be happy. Some people say the ultimate aspiration of all humans is to find happiness. One of the things about being happy is feeling good. And what the brain does chemically within us to generate a feeling of goodness is it generates serotonin. Serotonin is a chemical and we as individuals have a finite amount within our brains, within our minds, within our heads. There is a finite amount and what we need to do is we need to replace and replenish that serotonin. The way you do that, there are four key ways of doing that. The first is exercise. When you exercise, you physically generate new serotonin chemical. There's no denying that. Re research any evidence you like. Serotonin, one of the key ways of generating serotonin is exercise. So if your serotonin is depleted, this little pot that you have every day, if that depletes, the easiest way to top it up is with exercise. That does not mean coming to a gym, but it means not sitting on your ass. So doing something tops up your serotonin. Another excellent way to top up your ser serotonin and the simplest way is daylight. If you sat in an office, get some daylight. If you sat in an office and the windows, the blinds are closed, open the blinds. Daylight and sunlight in particular generates serotonin. The third thing for serotonin, believe it or not, is talking, it's communicating. Research has proved that actually talking and interacting with other humans generates serotonin. So even if you're complaining and moaning, you will be generating serotonin. Lastly, there are certain foods that generate more serotonin than others, but if you want to know about that, you'll have to ask Alex or Jason or a nutritionist. I don't know which specific ones they are. So serotonin is the thing that makes you feel good. Coming to the gym directly and immediately generates and tops up your finite little pot of serotonin in yourself. The other big reward you get from coming to the gym is dopamine. Now, dopamine is the chemical that you get for reward. When you do something good and when you pat yourself on the back, or better still, when other people pat you on the back, you get a rush of dopamine. It's the, it's the high, it's the fix. It's the same thing you get from chocolate. You know when you eat chocolate and you... You, you kind of have a buzz, don't you? Some people say they'll actually get a physical buzz from chocolate. That is actually a chemical reaction in the brain generating dopamine. So you think about it for a moment. You come to the gym, you work physically hard. I've just done it now. I've done my session for today. I would imagine my serotonin levels are topped right up because I, I tried to max out every session that I could. But in addition to that, I've also had an awful lot of dopamine boost. I felt good about myself. People in the gym have acknowledged that I work quite hard on that particular exercise. Or Alex walks around and pats you on the back or acknowledges the fact you've worked hard. It's the same in the office. It's the same in the gym. Being given a reward, being acknowledged and reflected, gives you a dopamine rush. So the dopamine gives you the, the kind of high rush, and the serotonin keeps you feeling good. So those are the chemical reactions that go on in our brains that keep us either feeling pretty good and bullish and warm and alive about ourselves, or the opposite, if those deplete and we're not getting the feel good from the serotonin and we're not getting the rich rewards from the dopamine, what we'll tend to do is we'll tend to go and try and find that dopamine fix elsewhere. That dopamine fix can come in a thousand and one different ways. Chocolate, alcohol, drugs, whatever they happen to be. Everybody goes to find their fix and their rush somewhere. I happen to get mine by coming to the gym along with dozens of other people that come here. Thank you. Next question.